So what is the difference between the name Blimp and the name Zeppelin and the name Dirigible and the name Hot Air Balloon? In this video, we're going to go ahead and discuss that topic. Let's get to it. The general umbrella term for all of these different type of aircraft is lighter than air aircraft. These craft contain a huge volume of lifting gas that is less dense than the gas around it and that creates a buoyancy force that it uses for lift. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the differences underneath this umbrella term for the different kinds of lighter than air aircraft. Balloons versus airships. Both are lighter than air aircraft, so they're going to produce lift from this buoyancy force. However, balloons do not have a propulsive force or a way to steer it. So what they do is they rely on the air currents to move about. So if you want to go north, you got to either go up or down trying to find that air current that's going north. On the other hand, Airships have a propulsion system or have a control system so that they're able to steer the aircraft and move forward. Now, some of the names that we use for lighter than air aircraft actually come from the structure itself. For instance, a blimp is a non rigid airship. It's called non rigid because it doesn't have a rigid internal structure to keep the shape of the bag of air. It relies solely on the pressure on the inside. Now there might be a few internal tethers inside the, the gas bag trying to distribute the weight of the gondola, but there is no rigid structure. Now a rigid airship actually has this outer shell structure with some skin on it, and it actually will have separate gas bags inside this structure. Now the name dirigible has sort of taken over the meaning of a rigid airship. The word itself dirigible comes from some French word which means to steer. So really any airship should be a dirigible. However, has effectively been shrunken down to only include rigid airships. And of course, a mixture of a non-rigid and rigid ship would be the semi-rigid. This is essentially a non-rigid airship. However, it will have along the bottom edge a keel. So if you hear the name blimp, it usually means non-rigid. And if you hear the name dirigible, it usually means rigid. The last two names I want to talk about in this short video is Zeppelin and Hindenburg. Zeppelin actually started as a design in a patent. I believe on Wikipedia they have a description on what the Zeppelin patent design was way back in 1895 when it was first issued to uh, Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin. So once the patent was issued, some testing began on the design and they had some really good success with the test. And so long story short, this Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin guy ended up getting a lot of public donations and he used that to start the airship construction Zeppelin company making airships. Zeppelin became very good at making rigid airships, so much so that the name Zeppelin actually has kind of merged with this idea of a rigid airship. Now we often hear the name Hindenburg as well. Hindenburg was the name of a specific Zeppelin airship. It was airship number 129, meaning that it was the 129th Zeppelin that was built. And of course, Hindenburg was the airship in that tragic accident where it caught fire and it burned really, really badly. So I hope this clarifies a little bit on where the different names come from, what they mean, and what specific types of aircraft you're talking about when you use the different names. In the meantime, this is the first video in a new series where I'm going to be talking about airship design and lighter than air aircraft. I'll probably start going over some of the controls of airships. Then we might start looking at stuff like aerodynamics and structures and all that fun stuff. Maybe even we'll do a project where we design, build, test, and fly an airship. Let me know if you have an interest in that kind of a project. 
And in the meantime, if you want to see this channel grow and pump out videos faster, higher quality, and do better and cooler projects, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh, and share a couple videos. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.